the NFL to Hollywood to fatherhood. Join me as I tackle my next journey in life, becoming Hollywood's next action star. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. It's back day. We're sculpting that turtle shell. Call me the white ninja turtle, Caucasian Angela, Caucasian Nardo. Caucasian Nardo is sick. Because it has nards in it. Because I got big ones, homie. Because we're about to get this big old turtle shell going on the back here. So, as you can see, I'm starting off getting a little blood pumped into that upper back, slash, getting some work in on these rear delts. So now that I got a few in there, I'm gonna go over here as part of my warm up for my back, but also getting a bonus. I'm getting some working sets in on my rear delts with some face pulls. I like to use the rope, boom, it's on a high pulley. Come back, externally rotate a little bit. We're in here, baby. Oh yeah. Who, me? Yeah, you. Oh, comment below what your Ninja Turtle name would be if you had to pick one. Uh. Something. No, Caucasian Angelo, because he has so much fun. So now that I kind of went to failure on that rear dot, so now this one, I'm also going to take the failure. Uh, grab. Ah, close on the band, so you can't rip that point anymore. Now I'm gonna move my hands out just a smidge. Oh, I can get some more reps, how about that? I'm gonna keep doing that. Ah. Yeah. Take a little break, rinse and repeat one more time. Um, I'm still kind of dialing in my modified push-pull legs split that I'm doing. Um, I was doing an upper body, lower body split, working out four days a week. I was finding myself getting a little bit burnt out on the amount of volume I had to do every day when I was in the weight room. And also the task switching from doing a really heavy press and then doing bent over rows real heavy in the same day. Now I'm working out just about every day. Maybe I'll take one day off a week if life gets busy. But I'm coming in every day and it's like I can bang this thing out in 30 to 60 minutes with the warm up and everything because every day I have less volume, even though I'm hitting just as much or more volume throughout the entirety of the week. So I go uh, push, pull, legs, and then my bonus day is the fourth day where I'll hit whatever I wanna get more volume on based on my lagging body parts. For me, it's my arms, my calves, and my neck. Anyhow, it's going well, and it's keeping me motivated and encouraged. Man, I'm just out here in this freaking dungeon, dreaming, becoming having fun, man. I'm coming up with things in my mind and I'm making it happen here in the dark in the dungeon. And now I'm pushing play on it so you get to be a part of it. Let's keep getting after it, man. Let's keep getting after it. Oh, I'm telling you, by the end of this year, I'm going to be 240, lean, rocking on doves, man. 20 inch arms. Changing my whole life. Become one of these big boys in the industry, huh? Becoming one of these Big boy action, bad A's. Ah, yeah. Ah. Woo. Yep. Yeah. 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 Eesh. Eesh. Yeah. 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 Boom. That's gonna be it for the rear delts today. Now I'm gonna go into my back work. So on most of my back days, I'm literally doing one vertical pull. So whether that's a pull down, a pull up, and one horizontal pull, bent over rows, low row, um, some sort of rowing movement. Today I may throw one extra one in there, depending on uh, the time I have and the energy I have. Um, I kind of like doing the, oh, I can't, the landmine attachment and then coming out to the side to really hit that upper back. Uh, sounds fun. You know, and when something sounds fun, you're probably gonna push your body to make it 
worth your while. So let's get it going. All right, first working set on the pull-ups. I got 70, yeah, 70 pounds attached to uh, a belt on my waist right now. I'm gonna go with the 45 degree uh, grip on the pull-up because I can load that up a little bit more and I still get a good contraction in the lats when I do it. So enough yakking. Let's get to the wet. <laughs> Said two. Weight's kind of burying to me today at that five and a half, six rep range. Still gonna do the same thing on the third set, but as soon as I hit the ground, drop my panties off and go body weight. Yeah, here we go. Take a little break. Get 10 more maybe in small increments. Here we go. Yeah. Ah. Three. Oh. Four. Ah. Five. Una mas. Finito to the one times. Ooh. All right. Yay. Done with my vertical pull. I'm going to go into some low rows now with a neutral grip, kind of about medium distance. It's got like three different grips, narrow, middle, wide. I'm going to go middle. Get after it. I've got a... Um, Headshot session tomorrow helped me kind of niche down, rebrand myself a little better as one of the, the big men in Hollywood. And uh, typically in the past, because I know I'm going to have at least one shirtless picture or tank top stuff to, you know, showcase the body, to show them a big meat slab that they can slab in some movie somewhere. So anyways, what I would usually do in the past is like, oh, I'm gonna have this shirtless thing and try to do all this tricky stuff that I've never done before, like, you know, dehydrate or cut all the way up to. And every time I've done that one, it makes, flattens out my muscles. I think I'm depleted of glycogen and sodium. And so it shrivels me up. And then that somehow accentuates any of the fat that I do have even more. So it makes you look more skinny fat than anything else and full. That's just to keep it consistent, I'm staying on the plan slowly gaining weight and trying to gain it, you know, as lean as possible, staying at roughly the same body fat percentage. So this is just something that I have to do within that greater plan. I'm not gonna change up my whole routine for some photo session. Um, you're gonna land at where you're at. You can't change anything super last minute. So anyhow, that's tomorrow, that'll be fun. I may uh, get some footage from that. I'll ask the photographer if she's cool with that and uh, kind of show you what a 
headshot session looks like in, uh, in this acting lane. Here we go. Just did four reps and remembered I didn't press play. But uh, this feels pretty light, so I'm about to have to be a high rep set, anyhow. Mm. Uh. Went up 40 pounds on this one, and uh, probably trying to shoot for that 10 rep range. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh. me the magic man because uh, somehow I knew it would be 10 reps. The truth is the mind-body connection, it's really strong, you know. My leg looks skinny from that angle, so we're going to cut it from there. Uh, I could have told myself 12 reps and then my body would have automatically, unconsciously gone like 0.2 seconds faster per rep to where then I would have failed at 12. It's a, it's a, I think it's a superpower of mine. Anyways, just shoot for, uh, shoot for a number that's gonna push you. Um, no, I don't think there's anything applicable with that. I think there could be if I would have thought it through a little more, but I don't think much through. So, I'm really glad you're here. Hey guys, it's a new segment. It's called Serial Killer Dance Time. It's where you, you look at yourself dance in the mirror and you stick a weird face with it. So this is something you can't do in a local gym. I mean, you can, but you probably get kicked out after about a month. I know for experiential reasons. Is this sick? All right, I'm done. No, I'm not. Damn, got my cardio in it. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm so sorry. I had that unplanned impulsive cardio session, so I don't have time to show you my upper back workout. 